Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna to draw a cute cup of coffee. It's gonna be very simple and step-by-step. -step. It's gonna be for beginners. So if you're a beginner, please join me. Uh, you're, I'm gonna be using this piece of paper right here and this marker. Uh, as far as the marker goes, I'm using a Faber-Castell PITT artist pen, big brush, and the paper is simply computer paper. Uh, if, by the way, you can use any marker you want. If you wanna use this exact marker though, I'm gonna put the link in the description for Amazon. You can go buy it on there. And then I'm gonna use this Crayola brand marker as an add-on. So, uh, it's gonna be pink, pink. And I'm gonna use a brown one as well, actually. So, because coffee is brown, right? So, that's kind of it. If there's any, if there's no questions, let's continue. Uh, if there is a question, definitely post it in the comment section. I reply to every single comment, and I mean it. So even if you post hi in the comments, I will reply to you. All right, let's get going. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a ellipse here, which is really just kind of like a slanted egg. I highly recommend that you do that in one stroke. You don't have to, of course, but I think it's a lot easier when you do it in one stroke. I'm gonna start a line here, go downward. And I'm gonna pull from this line and I'm gonna kind of also make a similar curve and I'm gonna try to do that in one shot as well. Now I'm gonna connect these two lines here. Ah! All right. Uh, I am gonna, I'm gonna draw right around here and I'm gonna draw a Kind of a curved line as well, and that's gonna be the actual coffee inside. Now we're gonna draw a handle. So the handle is gonna be essentially just kind of a, a C curve. And let's do another C curve on the inside of that for the handle. Let's draw some wiggly lines because we want some hot coffee. I don't even drink coffee, by the way. I'm sorry. I, you know, I, I'm so sorry. I feel like I should be a coffee drinker, but I'm not. I draw these wiggly lines, and I'm really ha lying on my uh, marker right here on the side of it to, to make those. And you could just put three. You don't have to go crazy like I am. What is this, six? Um, and let's draw a little hearts at the top because that looks adorable-ish. all these curved lines here. Lots of love in that coffee. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw an upside down U shape for one eye, upside down U shape for the other eye. Up here, like an upside down, upside down U there. And I'm gonna fill that in. So that coffee is, you know, either in horrible, horrible pain or is in a lot of joy. I think he's in joy. Or horrible pain. No, I don't think so. Uh, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a thick line around the outside of the cup. And that is to contain some of the complicated shapes on the inside. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna make it maybe like twice as big. Uh, so while I'm doing that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be putting up three videos uh, every single weekday for the foreseeable future. So you don't want to miss out on that. They're all for beginners. Every single lesson is for beginners. So every time you subscribe, it will give you uh, a notification probably 10% of the time. Honestly, let's be honest. They, they don't, they're not very good with that. Uh, but uh, if you hit that little bell icon, it'll tell you a little bit more. Um, but yeah. You don't want to miss out on that. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff on here. And don't forget, it's totally free. So there's nothing, there's no downside to it. Wow. Trying to go right here and double up this curved line. And I'm doing a contour thing. So basically this inside here is a contour. So I'm going to do that as well. All right, so we have that. Now we're gonna do is we're going to our small, a very small amounts of color. And first thing I do is I'm gonna grab the brown and this Crayola brand marker, Cafe Brown. 
and we're gonna make our coffee brown. Uh, it's probably gonna look pretty dark. Wow, that looks really dark. We're gonna barely notice it's brown. Ooh, dang. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna butt up right up to the edge. I don't want to smear the black, even though it's gonna be pretty hard to tell between the black and the brown. The brown is really dark, but uh, when it dries, it will probably dry out a little bit lighter, and you'll definitely be able to tell. Uh, do you guys drink coffee? Is that why you're drawing this? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Remember, I replied to everything. Uh, if you drink coffee, let me know. I do not. I think it tastes kind of weird, but you know what? It's okay. My sister loves it. Loves it. This is like, there's not, the coffee isn't just drink. It's like a culture. There's a whole culture around it. Ah. All right, we have that there. And I'm gonna grab the pink. And here's the pink. Uh, pink is gonna be four little cheeks. I want rosy cheeks. I want this coffee to be blushing. Like, oh, how cool this is. Yeah, alrighty. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna fill in the little hearts for pink as well. These are all just little additional things so that this isn't really, you know, like, I'm not teaching you how to draw tiny hearts, but the, the hearts is, uh, so a, a lot of the stuff that you throw extra into drawings, it is a very, um, it, it's very good to do so because it kind of gives you uh, more, I don't know, just more detail is better. Let me, let me do something extra here. So I'll give you an example of that. As far as like the coffee goes, you want to set it maybe on a table. And I wouldn't really put it flat like this. I would actually raise the line up a bit, draw a straight line over here, and then follow that where it would naturally come out on the other side. So it looks like it's on it's sitting on some some table somewhere, right? If you really gotta go crazy with it, maybe you can draw like, I don't know. Uh, bushes in the background maybe somewhere over there because you, you want to make it uh the more story you put into it the better it's not even just the execution of the drawing itself uh and then i could also throw a little extra shadow here at the bottom because it's not just the drawing itself it's kind of the world that you bring uh your viewer into it and you're kind of looking at this cute universe and that's kind of what you want to do with everything let me fix the line over here but thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy this, like I said, definitely hit the like button. Uh, the best thing you can possibly do would be sharing the video somewhere. Sharing the video is the equivalent of like tipping your server when you go out to eat. Um, and this one though is totally free. So it's just free. It takes a few seconds. Just go to Facebook or Pinterest or Twitter, share it, or just share it with a friend. Anyways, that is it. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next Easy Pictures to Draw.